Hello everybody. Now in this video, let's uh, focus on the the other scheduling mechanism that is basically class based queue mechanism. The difference here, in fact, uh, if you look at the diagram, in fact, we are again focusing on the router here. CBQ will be running or the CBQ mechanism scheduling mechanism will be running on this router. Now again, you can see that there are totally uh, three types of uh, traffic coming in. So we have uh, uh, the blue one, we have then the red traffic and uh, the green one, all with the same rate. And if you observe this uh, router now, in this, uh, if you use class based queue mechanism, uh, what can happen is each of those flows can be defined or treated as a class and a separate uh, pro priority could be given to each of them. For example, if you assume that the outgoing link is just uh, 1 Mbps, then we could say uh, the class 1 uh, could use uh, say 50 percent of that uh, data rate here or the capacity of the link here. The remaining as 30 percent, uh, that is the red as 30 percent or and the green as uh, the 20 percent. So we could uh, basically divide this data rate among the uh, the flows that are going through this uh, router. So in this case, uh, case, what we have done is we have assumed again the outgoing link to be 1 Mbps capacity. This has 1 Mbps capacity and we define uh, a CBQ here uh, which should you we should divide this 1 Mbps into 5 is to 3 is to uh, 2 ratio or in other words it is supposed to give uh, one of them 500 kbps capacity, another uh, 300 kbps capacity, another one 300 uh, kbps capacity and the third one is 200 kbps capacity. So uh, by end of this result, uh, we should get a plot like this. So where uh, we have the time axis here and the throughput axis here and now you can see uh, each of those flows, three different flows that are there. So, th the throughput that each of them are getting. So, we can observe that, okay, he is getting uh, around 500 kbps towards the end on the average and likewise the, the second one 300 kbps and the third one is 200 kbps. This is our expected results. To see this CBQ in work operation, so let us use uh, this network scenario where we have this router as before and then we have two mbps links coming in uh, and uh, data rates three sources in fact let them generate the same data rates one mbps one mbps and one mbps and this link is a bottleneck link so we'll define this as just one mbps so when you define cbq over here cbq should divide this outgoing link capacity one mbps capacity among all the three as 500 kb uh, 300 kb and 200 kb so let's get to practicals and then let's uh, build this so we'll just uh, open the yeah we are into ubuntu we have this ubuntu terminal here let's just maximize this okay and then as before let's start the network scenario generator by typing java minus jar nsg and let's put a percent to run it in background so we have got the network scenario generator, a wide scenario where we have uh, three nodes and a router and a destination and the links we are supposed to have links of uh, let us say this is 2 Mbps and everything is fine. So I will keep it one link here with 2 Mbps, another link here with 2 Mbps, another one as third Mbps, so the third link is. 2 Mbps. This link, since it is now supposed to implement a CBQ here in this router, what we will do is this link will not define it in NSG, we will just leave it blank and we will generate the TCL and inside the TCL later we will write code to add this link. We will come back to that. So, what now we need to do is we will go to the agents directly now. You want uh, UDP agents, UDP agents, let us keep smaller packets. It does not matter even if you keep bigger packets, not an issue but we should keep all of them to be the same. So, all the UDPs are carrying the same packet sizes. 
and then we have a UDP null at the destination here. So, totally three nulls. So, the third null and let us connect them this UDP to this null, this UDP to this null and this UDP to this null. Then let us go to the applications. We will use constant bit rate from starting at 1 second, stopping at 8 and let us uh, have this as packet as 500 size and let us keep the rate as 1 Mbps. So, each of the source is generating a traffic with MB, 1 Mbps. So, we will just keep it here 1 Mbps and this source also is generating at 1 Mbps. Let us go to parameters and now since we are working on CBQ, let us name the files appropriately. NAM file and the trace file. Let us say done. We will go to TCL and we have the TCL now. We will save this TCL and remember we just left the link between N3 and N4 as blank. So, here we will uh, yeah, use uh, rename this file as cbq.tcl. So, let us save this. Let us go to the terminal. So, in the terminal, uh, let us do a g edit, g edit, and we have the exponent 0 q cbq tcl. Yes, we have it. We start it off and uh, let us expand this. Let us uh, add the color coding first. Yeah, let us add the color coding here. Let us tell Network Simulator that use color 1 for Floyd U, color blue for Floyd E1 and uh, color, uh, say let us say green for Floyd E2 and then color for Floyd E3 use green. Okay. And then if you observe now, uh, yeah, the links if you observe now, uh, the links for, in fact, there are uh, links defined for 0 to 3, 1 to 3, uh, 2 to 3, but from 3 to 4, link has not been defined and that we want it to be CBQ. So, for that, what we will do is from the manual, if you observe the manual now, so let us get back to the manual. The manual is, uh, uh, well, the manual is, uh, yeah, here in this, we have the manual here. If you have the, the manual, we have the code here. Yeah, between uh, three and four, we are supposed to do a different uh, simple simplex links, which is following CBQ. And likewise, uh, from four to three is another simplex link, uh, which is of drop tail. Okay, and when we define this class as CBQ, and now we need to define these classes. So, this is the part where we are defining those classes. Totally, we know that uh, it will have three types of flows. So, we will define three classes here. Class 1, class 2 and likewise uh, class 3. Yeah, we have three classes and the ratio are also, we are also telling what ratio they should split the outgoing data rate into. We are saying 0.5 that is 50 percent for the first class, 30 percent for the second class and 20 percent, remaining 20 percent for the third class. So, this piece of code will have to be added into a TCL separately. So, we will have to do a cut and paste of this and uh, I have already copied it. So, I will just uh, get into, yeah, I have it in my, uh, copied into the clipboard. So, let me just paste it over here. I am just pasting it over here. Yeah, now you can see uh, the code has come here. So, so it is here. So, everything is fine. And then we let us also do color coding of it. We have defined the color codes. So, let us get back and uh, here UDP 0, we want its flow ID to be set to 1, which is of blue in color. And uh, we want the flow ID of uh, UDP 1 to set to 2. Likewise, we want the UDP UDP flow ID 
set to 3. So, these are the changes that we need to, this is for color coding. Yeah, we are done with it. In fact, we are not so keen about monitoring the position of the key, uh, the queue. So, we didn't add the queue here. We just saved it. So, let's get back to the terminal here. And then we are supposed to now run the, I mean, give the CBQ that we generated just now, wrote the TCL now to NS. So, I give it to NS. NS has, uh, oh, sorry, we did a mistake for green. So, let's correct it. That's the reason we should uh, keep the TCL open. We should not close it so that in case there are any mistakes, we can correct them. So, we green is green. We missed the C N over there. So, we say this, we get back here and then let's uh, yeah, just close this animation because it will start again. Let's get back to the terminal. Yeah, we'll give the TCL to the network simulator. Network cinema letter compiled peacefully. So, we have got the animation also, animator coming up. So, let's reorganize it a little bit. So, we know uh, 3 is the router, in fact, 0, 1, and uh, 2 are the sources, and 4 is the destination. Let's play the animation. Let's increase the step size. Yeah, we can see. Visually, uh, the results that we are expecting. So, the source is generating at constant or the traffic generated by the sources is at uh, constant rate that is 1 Mbps each. Router has a link just 1 Mbps. So, it is a congested, congested link. So, we have lots of packets wrapping. But CBQ is working in this router and uh, based on the classes that we have defined 50%, 30%, 20%. So, you can see approximately uh, some 3 packets of blue going for every three packets of blue we have two packets of red going and one or slightly more green packets going so visually we can see that it seems to be working in 5 is to 3 is to 2 ratio 50 percent 30 percent and 20 percent so let's confirm this through our statistics through the awk file so we ran this uh, animator let's close this so we go back to the terminal so in the terminal now we can see uh, we have this trace file that has been generated and now we run the awk M mgat wired.awk on the trace file that is experiment 05 cbq.trace yeah so it has it, it is giving us all the flow and the statistics so 1 to 4 we can see that it has approximately 300 kbps then 2 to 4 has approximately 200 kbps and likewise the third flow or the first flow rather it has approximately 500 kbps yeah 0 to 4 it has uh, got 500 so you can see the outgoing link of 1 mbps capacity has been split into 500 200 and 300 capacity kbps capacity capacities for each of them good so now this uh, let's also see the plots now we can see that uh, in fact uh, data files for the flows have also been generated so you can see that cbq uh, or the data file or the throughput for every timestamp has been generated so we should give it to gnu plot but remember gnu plot what it does is it picks up all the data files that are there in the current directory and plots it we don't want the fq plots to be visible in that uh, uh, graph we just want the C CBQ. So, what we'll do is, let's remove those, uh, uh, the F FQ data. Let's remove the FQ data, slash, FQ data is in throughput dot data. So, you can see, uh, FQ data has been removed. Now, we have the data corresponding to only the CBQs, CBQ data. Uh, we have all the three CBQ data or the throughput related to each of the CVQ. Let's start the GNU plot and then uh, MGIT underscore throughput. Yeah, this will pick up all the data and now we can see we have got a nice graph that we expected. So, we have the time axis, we have the throughput axis in kilobits per second 
and throughput we can see uh, it has been divided among the three flows so all those three flows the data that had been captured uh, stored on the drive it has picked it up and has that plotted the graphs and we can see that uh, the first flow is getting approximately 500 kbps second flow is getting 300 kbps and then the third flow is getting 200 kbps so these initially to start off with when the network is starting uh, so throughput was slightly lower and as it started packet started flowing packet started reaching the destinations now we can say they have reached the steady state state of 500 300 and 200 and this confirms uh, the mechanism of cpq scheduling mechanism which is running at the router so we'll stop here see you in the next video